there's no fisherman watch this that finds himself roaming around jumping and shouting around the sea no the fishermen observe the weather are we together they observe so many things and even when the sea becomes boisterous like you'll be learning the skill that you deploy when the fish the sea is calm is not the same skill you deploy when the skill the the sea is boisterous are you following me now very important the first lesson in the training of a fisherman that can be brought to the training of a soul winner is you must understand the sea please look at me my goodness this world you see is the world of men and like the sea it is a very complicated space are we together if you want to save sinners and you do not understand the world you have found yourself in you will get into the middle of things that you may never come out of every soul winner must be trained to understand the world wherein you will be going to save souls in there are places across the earth that are harsh and merciless like the boisterous nature there are places i hope you know that the fish in the sea don't stay at the same place there are some of them you can find them in fact just looking at the sea you can see them popping up but there are others who are deep down the sea many believers who want to be effective soul winners have never taken time to they are not even interested in studying the cosmos the world of men and so we carry a lot of blind zeal in the name of evangelism especially as touching our modern day world there are many many fishermen who have gone to sea and never returned back home like many people who went and suffered several casualties because they were not trained to understand that being a fisherman like a soul winner lesson number one is you must study the sea the world that we live in is not a world of compassion the world that we live in is not a world of fairness the world that we live in is not a world with men alone there are spirits cohabiting with men you need to understand the world wherein that's where sinners are the world that you are living in that you are going to evangelize and win souls is under the influence of this spirit called satan he has manipulated that sea with a a way of thinking a way of behavior he's called the god of this world and that he's blinded the minds of the people if the believer does not understand the cosmos your witness will be very ineffective if you're following me shout amen. amen so like the sea the sea for the believer and for the soul winner represents everywhere men can be found abuja lagos the city center your village everywhere men can be found qualifies to be called the sea number two the second training for a fisherman that is applicable for a soul winner i hope you are learning already if you do not know this you will not truly be a fisher of men you need to know the various kinds of fish there are at sea aha uh -huh. this is a very important one you need to have this at the back of your mind that there are various kinds of fish in the sea all fish are not the same that tells you immediately that your strategy will not be the same all fish are not the same every fisherman knows that there are a multitude of fish or fishes as we say in the sea according to national geographic i did a little study it says there are about thirty-two thousand living species of fish on the earth let me repeat that again for your knowledge there are about 32,000 living species aside from the ones that are extinct these are the various kinds of fish that are found across various seas on earth you see why you need training because there are many soul winners the first fish you were trying to catch was a whale and it swallowed you because just because it's a sea does not mean you go and catch everything there. Are we learning now? I receive. 
I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Glorify. Every fisherman, like every soul winner, must know that biologically all men are the same. But spiritually, just like the variety of fish we have, I'm not an agriculturist, but I know there are very many kinds of fish. Even that sea you see is divided into fresh water, salt water. They, they are not the same. The way you catch some salmon or tuna is not the same way you catch a shark. There are vicious sea creatures you must be aware of. So that you don't stand there with a small boat and a net. As a fisherman and not return again. Are you learning tonight? Fishers of men. 32,000 living species of fish. That means different species of fish require different techniques. The way Jesus approached the woman at the well was not the same way he approached Zacchaeus. Are you seeing that now? There is wisdom that must be understood and deployed by every soul winner. There are many soul winners that have gotten into trouble because they did not know that this sea you are seeing called the earth has various kinds of fish. There are people who blindly went to preach with fanatism without help. They are in prisons today. And it's not just, I'm not talking of persecution or martyrdom. I'm talking of standing in a sea and not knowing the kind of fish that would come out. Every fisherman in training knows that you must know the various kinds of fish. Look up. Let me tell you the various kinds of fish that talk about the variety of unsaved people. There are people Jesus said are already close to the kingdom. That means all it takes, they are, they are overripe for a harvest. Are we together? Already by their personality and their disposition, they are, they are just one step into the kingdom. Morally right. Nice people, very thoughtful, very philosophical. By reason of their philosophical stretch, they have already gleaned attributes that make them responsible people. It's easy to receive the gospel. No argument. You bring Jesus, they embrace it. Another kind of fish. There are fish that you have to dig the sea, the ground, to bring them out. Because of how, how deep they have gone. Are we together? There are people as soon as you see them and say, look, I want to tell you about Jesus. They say, sit down. Where was Jesus born? I will tell you the date. At the end of it, you end up with debates and arguments and you see how much of scripture you don't know. They leave you feeling bad and they say, go and do your homework before you come and talk to me the next time. The problem is not the sea. The problem is not the fish. The problem is that the fisherman was not trained. There are various kinds of fish. There are fishes that bite and kill. Did you hear what I said? They bite anything, including other fish. You will meet them eating other fish before your arrival. Are we learning? When you are dealing with a fish that eats other fishes, you have to be careful. Ask any fisherman that you came and met the fish before your arrival. You met it eating. Have you seen, most of you watch Nas National Geographic, these great whales, they just open their mouth and allow these tiny fishes to just swim inside and they close it. And you want to use a hook to get that kind of fish? A fish that is used to killing. A fish that does not mind spilling blood. No, there is an intelligence you need. Is someone learning now? The way you win a naive, innocent person is not the way you win a cultist who can kill. At every point in his life, there are weapons with him. You need to be careful. There is a skill. Fishers of men. 
Are we learning? There are people who out of zeal, they entered one chance, not by mistake, by themselves. Because they felt they wanted to talk to a group of six people by themselves with wisdom. And while they were speaking, they noticed nobody was responding, but the car was moving. Until they got to a point where they said, come out. And they found themselves in a forest somewhere. Now, I'm not being sarcastic. We blame everything on the mission God gave us, not knowing that there is a training for fishermen. If the fish swallows you, most likely you are Jonah. If the fish swallows you, most likely you are not a fisherman. If he tells you to walk on, on the sea, even if you are sinking, he will hold you because it's his word that made you come. So sometimes we need to stop blaming God for the inefficiencies that have been experienced at the mission field. It was a product of zeal without training. There are people who have died as genuine Matthias. Honor to them. But there are people who have died the death of fools and the death of amateurs. God is teaching your fingers, your hands to war and your fingers to fight. That at the sea, just like the earth, the mission is, the field is wide. The heart is plentiful and there are a variety of fish. Are we together? If you're following, say amen. amen. The second thing every fisherman knows and every witness and every soul winner must know is that there are a variety of fishes in every sea. Number three. The third thing we learn from the training of a fisherman that applies to a soul winner in training is that there are various techniques for catching fish when it has to do with the business of fishing like it has to do with the business of soul winning the mission is the same the message is the same but there are various techniques and you know why by now because there are various kinds of fish the third thing i needed to learn i hope you are learning that there are various techniques for catching fish for instance, there's what they call the bait and the hook. That you tie a bait to a hook. You've seen fishermen do that? Usually that goes for a small fish that you can even lift by yourself. And so they put worms or they put whatever, a bait in a hook. And then they just throw it at sea or at a small pond or a river. And they wait patiently. And they usually can know when a fish has taken it because it bites the, the bait together with the hook. And then they wind it backwards and pull it up and put it into a basket. Many of you have tried that. Many of you probably fish that way. Another strategy is to cast your net. The use of nets is called casting. That you can cast nets. And even that as I study, have various skills to do it. But I will save that for another day. At least these two tell you that to catch fish does not just require one approach alone this is very powerful there is the bait and the hook and there is the casting using a net and even that one happens in many ways are we learning write this down under point three not everybody will be saved on a crusade ground not everybody will be saved by a preacher but everybody should be saved not everybody will be saved on a crusade ground not everybody will be saved by a preacher there are many skills many techniques and many strategies this is very powerful it's a very important training that any fisherman knows Depending on what kind of fish, depending on what location of the sea, there are various techniques that you can deploy to catch the fish. Now listen carefully. Still on point three. I wrote something here and I wanted to listen. Every God-ordained ministry in the body is sent by God to a particular group of men. 
every God ordained ministry in the body of Christ is sent by God, anointed by God to fish a particular group of men. Boat hooks and nets are ways of catching fish. The hook must never downplay the net and the net must never downplay the hook. They are both methods of catching fish. Are we learning now? You must understand that for this evangelical work, these missions, these global missions, this soul winning work, it is not the method you know that is the only method. There are a variety of methods. God ordained methods. Please look up. How many of you know a group called the Full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship? Let me see your hands. Full Gospel, you've heard about them, even if you're not part of them. You've heard about them. I've had the honor of preaching there. I preached at their world conference last year. Phenomenal people, intelligent people. It's a, it's a collection of literally, without exaggeration, some of the best business minds across the globe. This has lasted for a very long time. It was an honor that I had to speak to them last year. Phenomenally intelligent people, literally across every nation. Now, do you know that there are certain people on account of their financial status and on account of the things that happen around their life, they will never have the opportunity to hear a preacher on a crusade ground because their lifestyle and where God has lifted them will not even allow them know that there is such a thing. So God raised the full gospel businessmen's fellowship for instance. Now, if Joshua Selman as a man of God, having the privilege to shout on a crusade ground, downplays the ministry of the full gospel businessmen, there is literally a demography of wealthy people that will never be saved are we together number two how many of you know about any children ministry any children ministry christian children ministry cem uh what they call them now anyone at all for children how many of you know that there are many adults who frustrate that ministry because they feel what do children the children don't need to learn anything but how many of you know that every armed robber was once a child? Every prostitute was once a child. Every destroyer of destiny was once a child. And God knowing that it's important to train up a child in the way he should go and that not many parents know God enough to do justice to the destinies of the children. He placed a burden upon certain people to minister to the children. And yet those ministries in many places are neglected, ignored, and looked at as less of a ministry to apostolic ministries like this the hook must respect the net they are all tools designed to catch fish they are only catching various kinds of fish there is a net that is too wide to catch tiny fish the fish will swim out of it gladly the fish will not even recognize that there is a net there because the net is too big for that fish. Are we together now? Uh, so you will find that fisherman in a children's class, teaching and jumping like a child, and you are wondering what is this foolish adult doing? Remember, there are tiny fish that your big net cannot catch, yet they need to be caught. Are we learning? So the man or the woman we had one of our fathers, I uh, think, um, what year now? School of Ministry. I think he was maybe now the second or third oldest person who had been part of the School of Ministry students. Maybe he's even following now. Great man. He was then in his 60s, approaching 70s. Or was it up to 70, I think? And this man could be so playful. I mean, he could just jump. And sometimes I remember then wondering, I said, can you imagine? As old as this man is, he has remained youthful at heart because these are the kinds of fishermen that were anointed. How many of you know it takes the anointing to still remain a child at 70? Because you are weak and tired and angry at life at 70. It takes the anointing to still make you have the zeal of a child. Fishermen. If we dedicate one koinonia service for children now, 
some of you will be sleeping even before praise and worship so what is this children's thing now yet that may be the meeting that saves your child i'm just teaching you in this training that every fisherman like every soul winner if you do not understand a strategy observe carefully and ask god don't condemn when you see jesus with the woman at the well don't conclude what is jesus doing at the well it is a strategy for her salvation when you see jesus with a madman in gadara don't conclude what is he doing with demon spirits watch to see what happens to that madman when he comes back to his right mind are we together now our witness is ineffective because through religion and the traditions of men we have defined a path based on our religiosity and we are forcing and blackmailing people to go through that mold and that anybody i see with a hook if i'm holding a net or anybody i see with a net if i'm holding a hook is not a fisherman you may be wrong there are various kinds of fishes and there are various techniques for catching them so when you see god anoint somebody with a unique ability just for prosperous people don't condemn there are souls in the business world that god has given that person a mandate to reach if it is not your assignment respect it and stay in your call but don't condemn you are losing fish we have been losing fish to the religiosity of men if you see a woman called into women ministry don't say what is these women and all these their problem they will soon start gossiping about their husbands that is not your concern there are women who will never be saved till a woman talks to them there are women who the, the nature of their pain will require another woman like them to say i know what we are going through are we together now as anointed as god has made me by his grace there are certain elderly people who will only respond to baba deboe's altar call i can preach there and they are impressed hitting their children and say be like this man don't be stubborn yet they are not saved they are hearing even if i'm crying on stage but baba will come out and speak in 30 minutes and make an altar call and the woman will stand up and come up because there are various kinds of fish we are all fishermen let's respect ourselves there are many people who have mastered the art of using their hook who are about to throw away their hook looking for nets unfortunately your mandate does not need a net if you carry that net you will find out you don't even have the strength to swing it you may follow that net into the sea and there are many people who have been given nets but the controversy with holding a net and swinging it they would rather just hold a hook but you will only catch one fish per hook I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power. And your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. I remember many years ago, there used to be this wonderful group. Um, it was a music group, and they went through a lot of stress because they were not believed. I knew the people were born again. I knew they loved Jesus with all their hearts. And I told them that time, I said, look, with the resources I had then, I will contribute gladly in helping you. Listen, let me tell you something about the body of Christ. We must be very careful. We are losing a lot of fish because we are destroying the efficiency of fishermen simply because they are tools for catching fish is different from what we are using we need to be careful if on my way going i find someone 
who is a professional how many of you know that there are many fellowships that are around many you know careers like um say for instance the immigration christian fellowship i preach there every year so you have to be a uniform person to even have access to that kind of place i have the honor of preaching there every year i've preached there for like eight years or so maybe eight or ten years every year at least once i go there there are people who have been born again there and the way god got them born again was to give them jobs with immigration so that they can attend that fellowship there are many students the only way they got saved was by getting admission because there are programs their parents will never allow them go so you will find out that the child's jam score was not up to it but god still gave the child admission because it was more than just getting a degree god needed that child to be released from a hostile home to be in an atmosphere where he can pray that child will never be allowed to have a night vigil where he or she is coming from that's how many of you got saved the message is respect the diversity of ministries within the body provided they are genuinely born again and provided they love god don't make business people feel less of witnesses don't let drama actors christian drama ministries feel less of actors don't allow worshipers those called into the worship ministry you may not like the way they jump but don't be too quick to judge go and find out the investments they make in the secret before they come out to jump don't be too quick to judge just because they sing the way you don't want does not mean they are not singing to the glory of god are we together don't judge people called into campus ministry their ministries to young people they will wear t-shirts and jeans and be jumping don't don't laugh at those who are called into the ministry of fitness and they are using it for the gospel their job is to tell their story from losing so 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 pounds now i am weak and they preach jesus we must respect the fishing tools that every fisherman carries now the truth i must balance is that there are tools that are not tools for instance if we see you standing with a knife at sea you are not a fisherman because holding that knife that way is not a tool so i'm not just saying we should just celebrate any tool no the tools may be diverse but when you see a fishing tool you know because you can see the assignment of that tool and you can see the result from using that tool fishers of men are we learning There are many ministries that should not have died they died today out of guilt because there was no more space for them in the body of christ we have defined by our understanding about god what ministries are of god and what ministries are not of god and in doing that maybe sincerely so we have closed down many great ministries and it ought not to be so how many women ministries have died today because we are attempting to manage excesses? How many music ministries have died today because we are attempting to manage excesses? How many discipleship platforms have died today simply because we did not understand the nature of their call? When you see a ministry not working in alignment, you'll be learning. The key is not to destroy it. The key is to trust God for alignment. Is someone learning if you're learning say amen. amen so number one you need to understand the sea the world are we learning number two you need to know the various kinds of fish we're still learning number three you need to understand the various techniques are we still together the various techniques that there are several ministries there are diversities of ministries across the body when you see the ministry of the man who was once a madman in Gadara don't be quick to judge it when you see the ministry of the woman who was once a prostitute 
who left her water pot to run and go and call other people and you see the woman who was once a prostitute saying come see a man don't be too quick to say it is not of god when you see the ministry of the woman breaking her alabaster box before jesus don't be quick to see the wastage when you see the ministry of joseph of arimathea his ministry was not to follow jesus for evangelism when you see him buying the gravesite don't say it's a waste that's where jesus will be buried number four fishers of men the fourth training that every fisherman needs to go through which represents the training of a soul winner are you ready now you must have a functional boat to gather the fish you have caught you must have a functional boat to gather the fish you have caught this is a very powerful one you must have a functional boat to gather the fish you have caught Luke chapter 5 please give us 4 and 4 to 6 if your boat is not strong you can catch an amount of fish that would destroy the boat and end up destroying your life Luke chapter 5 from verse 4 now when he had left speaking Jesus now he said unto Simon launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch nets for a catch verse 5 and Simon answering said unto him master we have toiled all night and have taken nothing nevertheless at thy word I will let down my net verse 6 and when they had this done watch this the Bible says they enclosed a great multitude of fish but there was a problem now with that harvest and their nets break their nets break and I can imagine that the boat that boat there that they now transferred everything to the boat was even going down because of the size of the fish can I tell you there are many people who God will not give the anointing and the mantle to bring a certain kind of harvest because their boat their ministerial capacity cannot manage the kind of ingathering they will have with all due respect there are servants of God there are Christian platforms God cannot give them 1,000 souls in one day there is no boat that has been designed to keep that fish number one is that there is nowhere to even take those people who are saved are we together now we are preparing for a sound of revival and we have invested so much building a prayer team building counselors in anticipation of the kind of harvest we know and believe by faith that god is bringing you cannot be holding a crusade for instance and then you train just 10 counselors or two counselors something is wrong with your boat you see let me tell you this every time you catch so much fish and your boat is too small something happens both you and the boat and the fish will be lost do you have systems in place to follow up the sinners that are saved or is it one man of God who will do everything and you will die of stress within one month because the problem was not the harvest it was that the boat was not efficient are we learning every fisherman knows that pending on the kind of fish you want to catch you must ensure that the boat the boat can mean the church the boat can mean your follow-up strategy the boat can mean the people you have raised to be able to make sure and ensure that the souls the sinners that are saved are not lost i learned this from reinhard bonke of blessed memory he used to have a pamphlet a book called now that you are saved the moment you are saved so what happens his strategy was because he didn't run a church-based ministry he usually organized his crusades in collaboration with the local assemblies so before the crusades he would do what they call fire conference and he would train the pastors to make sure that they are efficient enough to receive the harvest after the crusades the people who are already in various churches are distributed back to their churches 
and those who do not have churches are redistributed across local assemblies to make sure that there is a follow-up system and the strategy worked are we together the same has been used with many great evangelists there's no point winning 20,000 people 5,000 people and as soon as the people confess Jesus they go back and there is no system to help them they go back to their lives and before you know it you would never imagine they were once saved training number four make sure your boat is efficient there must be structures on ground a strong follow-up system an establishment system for the harvest that we desire your harvest will always be wasted when your boat is too small your harvest will always be wasted when you have no boat in fact according to scripture no evangelist you see the pattern revealed in scripture no evangelist should go and preach without a collaboration with local assemblies for the follow-up and the establishment of believers so it is either you the man of god who is now the fisher of men already has a structure where the people can be incorporated in or you work in partnership with those who already have structures that way for everyone who is saved you know that after one year two years you will still find the person in the fold we have wasted a lot of fish after laboring to catch them because the boat had a problem if you are learning say amen, amen. you must have a functional boat that gathers your fish you must have a strong follow-up structure at least a pamphlet i remember those days when we started our crusades we used to have one sheet you know we we'll just write out the plan of salvation and we'll hand it over just a sheet couldn't afford a pamphlet and we'll just write a sheet that is given to unbelievers and have a system to follow them up you've seen how we do it in koinonia here that when an altar call is made they are led there is a group of counselors trained and there is a system to begin to follow them up number five if you are learning say amen, amen. fishers of men are you ready for the training number five that every fisherman needs to know this and that also applies to every fisher of men every soul winner you cannot effectively fish in isolation write that down please you cannot effectively every fisherman knows this every fisherman is trained along this line and every fisher of men must know this you cannot effectively fish in isolation respect and engage with other fishermen you cannot effectively fish no matter how skilled you are no matter how gifted you are you cannot effectively fish in isolation respect and engage with other fishermen still Luke chapter 5 we read 4 to 6 now let's read 6 and 7 Luke chapter 5 6 and 7 and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break shout verse 7 please as you see projected ready one to read and they beckon unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships so that they began to sink this is the implication of praying for a harvest this is the implication of soul winning soul winning can sink your boat when you do it alone it can sink your boat financially the demands it takes to maintain the souls that are now saved it is the reason why when we are organizing global conferences like this we are not afraid to tell people come join join in any way financially through your prayer because no matter how great you are as a fisherman the kind of harvest god wants to bring 
may sink your boat if it's only your boat. So one financial helper can help your boat stand. One prayer helper can help your boat stand. Are we together now? There are many people's boats that have sunk or are sinking now. And they are genuine fishermen because of this ministry or this this false approach to ministry of standing alone no even jesus needed help he had to carry the cross but he fell on the way and they called on someone to help him let me tell you the truth as a soul winner as a fisher of men do not be afraid to join hands with fellow fishermen to produce greater efficiency right from the infancy of this ministry as we organize crusades we would always open up doors to groups and other ministries who believe in what we stand for it's always been a collaborative effort you know why because in many cases the weight of the harvest spiritually so there are people who are already praying now for sound of revival there is a prayer team you prayed for it today and it continues up until that time because no matter how anointed i am no matter how anointed we are this is a body ministry there are people today who are not even part of the koinonia family but have taken it as an intercessory project they are the helpers no matter how anointed you are this ministry of soul winning is not for one person you can be a professional fisherman if the fish is too much in your boat you will still sink you will sink financially you will sink in terms of your your a stretching of yourself with all due respect when you read the Welsh revival I'm speaking to the globe Evan Roberts according to history as much as we have read one of the reasons why the man died young he was one of the youngest of the generals recorded that died and what killed him was not a demonic attack what killed him was stress because the revival was breaking out there were awakenings i mean fire was all over the place he needed to be everywhere at the same time and there were no helpers his boat was sinking till he died there are many pastors who have died today because they would not embrace to say you know what i can preach in a crusade ground but i don't have the grace to follow up unbelievers i don't have the patience to follow up hundred complicated people but there is a pastor who was a pastor by ordination he can follow up the most stubborn member why don't you lean on the the advantage of their grace for efficiency Training number five, you cannot effectively fish in isolation. Respect and engage with other fishermen. Jesus himself told us that the major problem with the harvest is not the harvest, is the laborers. In Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37, he says, surely the harvest is wide, but the laborers are few. That's the problem. There are few hands relative to the amount of souls to be saved. And you will think because there are so many preachers, so many churches. I'm saying this to you because if God has called you particularly, uniquely to the ministry of soul winning. Don't say there are the Joshua Selmans. There are this and that. No. The harvest is wide. How many countries can you go to in a year? How many sermons can you preach? There are only 52 weeks, ladies and gentlemen, in a year. If you preach one sermon, one evangelical sermon per week, you only have 52 in a year. I was very touched when some gentleman began to, you know, find a way of translating our message, particularly to the Francophone nation. I visited a few of their nations and i've seen the hunger and sometimes i feel so sad because of this language barrier but the hunger to learn 
Do you know that because of the hunger, some of them had to learn English so that they could understand these teachings? Very powerful communication of zeal. Being a fisher of man, of men, will require a lot of collaboration. A lot of collaboration. A lot of collaboration. Listen, many more hands I wrote here are needed for this work. Let us not discourage and destroy the hands already available. We are still looking for more hands. Let's not destroy the hands that are available. If the hands are weak, what they need is to be strengthened, not destroyed. Not destroyed. Not destroyed. What we need is not to destroy the hands that are available. What we need is to strengthen the hands that are available. An ineffective fisherman is still a fisherman. He just needs more training. He just needs more purifying. He just needs more mentorship. But by the time a large sea has only six or seven fishermen, when sharks begin to come out, that's when you will see that more hands are needed. Because sharks are in the sea too. Whales are in the sea too. Other dead sea creatures are in the sea too. The ones that science has not even seen are in the sea too. We need more hands. Let me tell you the truth. We need more hands. We need more hands on campus.